Because I'm in the midst of a video. See, got clothes. You always call in the midst of a video. Welcome back to my channel. I am the one and the only Mrs. Rhodes Wilson and you have entered Mom Chronicles. And today is a video about haul for small businesses, okay? And it is titled, Our Summertime Fine Wears That Transitions to Our Wintertime Fabulous Wears, okay? So that means that a lot or all of these pieces I bought specifically in the summertime from small businesses okay and I have transitioned them to wintertime wears just adding a piece or two of a different clothing to make it warm enough for the winter now I do live in Tennessee and it is not that cold as if if I was living in the Midwest which is originally where I'm from so I don't have to add a lot to make it you know wear before the winter now, I have been working with small businesses for about a year and a half to two years. And again, we are on the road to 10,000 followers, okay? So, go down to my description. Go ahead and follow them. They come with the hottest fashions or reviewing the newest products that are out on the market. So, my first look is from Patience Jewel. And I normally chop that up when I say it. But, shout out to Patience Jewel. They were the first small business who selected me as a brand rep. Um, I no longer rep for them, but I still support her business 100%. Um, if you need more information about Patience Jewel, I will put her information below. I will also put a discount code. We can get a discount of your total purchase. It is not my discount code, but I have other Instagram friends um, who you know still rep for her. Now, what's so interesting about Patience Jewel is I can get items for my baby who is two, my niece who is three, my nephew who is just turned one, big sister who is six. I can get items all the way up, I think, to like size like nine or ten. So that's why I like patient jewels because I can get, you know, kind of sister sister outfits or sister brother outfits. I can get outfits for, you know, like the important children in my life. Now this is short sleeve. It is a jogger set, so it is tailored at the ankle. Now, what I would do to this outfit to make it wintertime fabulous, I would add long boots. So, I would add these long boots because it does stop at the ankle, as I talked about. This is going to cover the ankle to make sure that your legs are warm. This is also going to allow, you know, you could put the jogger inside your boot. Okay, now something else I will add. I would add this black cardigan that has no buttons. I got this from Old Navy, so it's not a small business, but this was a pickup that can be used on several different outfits because it's black, it's a cardigan, you know, you want to add that extra touch of warmth. It's not the thickest, but if you add these two pieces on, you know, this cardigan on top of this, it will be just you know have just enough of the warmth for school a lot of people ask me you buy these items from small businesses are they school ready can you wear them to school yes my daughter has worn all of these items to school okay so she is able to wear them to school to PE for art things like that the next item is a custom dress that I got made for Big sister, um, kind of has the high low. If you can see that, has the high low, high, um, adding to the bottom, which is really really cute on her because you know she's small, pretty petite. Now the business that I got this from is is taking a break right now, so I won't comment that information below because you can't go and um, buy the items. But this dress is really cute. It's flowy. If you have not watched my clearance haul video you will know that my daughter loves a good dress she tries to wear a dress three to four days a week but because she has pe twice a week it's not happening right now 
um, with this dress, obviously it has the high low look. It still comes, you know, to, to her knees with just a high part of the low. And what I would add to this dress to make it good enough for the winter is some black tights. That's what I would add. I would add some black tights. Got these black tights from Children's Place. They were in a two-pack with white tights. And, you know, black and white items are versatile. They can go with almost anything. So these black tights is what's hidden with this dress because it'll keep the legs warm, um, all, you know, and keep the legs covered, right? Now, something else I would add is a denim jacket. As we know, denim jack denim goes with everything. Goes with everything. So them this denim jacket is from Jimboree, which is coming back. Okay. I've been getting crazy emails from Jimboree. Alright. This denim jacket it just takes this dress to a whole nother level, makes it really, really classy. Okay, really, really chic, right? Now, the shoes that I will put with this outfit. Go ahead and show you that we got our denim jacket here. We got the dress here with our black tight shoes. I would put with the denim jacket is a caramel boot, and that would bring out the, the different shades of brown, even the different shades of green, different shades of yellow. This will just take this dress to the whole, you know, whole nother level, but re be really cute for school, really cute and appropriate for school. Okay, because they're on the floor, they're on the knees. Also, we always add a pair of shorts under our dresses. Doesn't matter if we wear tights. That's just what we do in our household. You can get those spandex shorts from Walmart, Children's Place, Carter's, whatever. That didn't need to be shown. All right. So, the next outfit was created by Adventurously Simple. That is a friend of mine that I went to high school with. She showed me patterns. I had basics to pick the pattern she liked and voila um still to this day she can she can fit the outfit the outfit um it is gathered at the end of the sleeve at the bottom it is also gathered at the bottom of the ankle which makes it like a jogger but this is long enough for just pants like you don't need like a long boot to kind of cover your ankle so that's what makes this really good. This is also really good material that she made this outfit out of. She is very reasonable. Now, um, she didn't step her game up now, so she's doing like pageant and, and prom gowns. So she's really doing big, big things. So shout out to Adventurously Simple. Or um, I think her name on Facebook is Alicia Crockett. Um, but I will link her information in the description so you can see um everything she has to offer or you can contact her yourself now what i would put with this outfit you do not lay a long boot i would just put a cute ankle like what they call the the imitation ugg boot from walmart okay very simple outfit so again shout out to adventurously simple for you know her craftsmanship just uh, amazing all right so the next outfit which originally it was a dress originally it was a dress and y'all know how i feel about my buffalo plaid i talked about buffalo plaid in my special occasion video which i will link below it's one of my favorite prints outside of floor print it's buffalo plaid okay now originally this was a dress but big sister got a little bit tall okay um i'm almost sure i got this from pace patience jewels there i go chopping it up but it's been a minute like i said i've been working with small businesses for a while this also has the high low aspect to it so since it's no longer able to be addressed because it, this would be extremely short on big sister i added a pair of black pants these are not from a small business but um hey 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 since you're already watching my video go down and subscribe click that bell so you could be notified. I got these um, black pants from Carter's. And they have like black sparkles. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Black matte sparkles on there. And that just kind of just gives it just a little extra pizzazz with it. Now, what I add with this that makes this so cute is these. 
is these. These are some Buffalo plaid socks. Right? I told y'all I love Buffalo plaid. So when I see stuff like this, I grab it. And I try to grab as many as I can. So, um, because these are something I can, you know, use for both girls. So, these Buffalo plaid socks. I got these Buffalo plaid socks from Peach Pop Threads. I did rep for her brand um, for one term. Um, I love her socks. They're so unique. Uh, I will link her information below and I will find you a discount code so you can get a discount. Okay. And a lot of her socks, like the sizes can go up, you know, to adults. So that's really cool. If you want some really cool socks in different fabrics um, and different prints, she has it. Okay. So Peach Pop Threads. Now, what I would wear with these uh, is just a traditional black shoe. For the most part, all black if I can have it with no white on it. But if it has to have a white on it. Uh, we actually just grew out of our all black shoes yesterday. And, you know, we got rid of shoes that we could no longer fit. So, we don't have the black shoes to match this. So, that's what I would normally wear with this outfit. It's just an all black shoe with this outfit. She has worn this to school. This is very school appropriate. Uh, especially since I added the pants under this dress, which is now a shirt. Again, shout out to Patience Jewel. I will put a, a discount code down in the description so you can get a discount. Y'all know I love my discount. Last pieces here I did in a collab with Snickle Fritz Collection. Okay? And actually it was a um a sister sister collection so it was, it was something for baby and also something for big sister now big sister got this custom top and skirt all right and the skirt is really bouncy and she, you know she likes to twirl and turn and so she loved that aspect now again this is short sleeves i would put the denim jacket with it all right i think the cardigan would make it too dressy and in school you don't want to be too dressy so I would put the cardigan cardigan I mean, not the cardigan I would put the denim jacket with it it would give it a bit of bit of swag to it okay I would and you know have your skirt with it as well I would wear these what they call iridescent boots okay it just it just makes it pop um, it would be very hard to find the right shoe to match with it, especially when Big Sister just is not a big like name brand gym shoe fan. Because I could have found several pair of name brand shoes to match this and just to bring it out, but she wasn't going for it. I tried it. I did actually try it. So this just you know it kind of has you know whatever color you're working with in it. This is the the boot that I would wear with it. It is from Children's Place. They have the boots. They have the sliders. They have sandals. They have all in this iridescent color okay also to cover the legs because it is a skirt i would just put traditional white tights over okay i mean under it and with some shorts one thing i didn't get to talk about with each item was bows okay patience jewel outfit the company i got this bow from is jackson skyler originally i used to rep for them but I no longer rep for them and the bow was on a band and if you have not watched my special occasion video or my clearance haul video which I will link both below my daughters do not like bows on bands they do not like them go across their head they just like them to clip right there on their ponytail or right in front of their ponytail whatever kind of hairstyle and so I really thought this brought out the, like the velvet bow with the velvet shirt it really brought it out and it made it look really really good so that's the bow that we would wear with this outfit from patience jewel all right so the next bow we would wear is kind of what's in right now it's stylish everybody's kind of wearing them so we have what they call hair barrettes okay and this one says new york shout out to my line sister um, that live in Chicago. This is her line name, and that's the reason why I got it. That says New York. This one also says London. I don't know if you can you see that. All right. And then this one. Okay, it's Paris. All right. Which is my sorority name, and it just was conveniently that I found them like that. And I normally add them up the back of the head, put the points up the back. 
the next bow that I would wear with the Adventurously Simple outfit, which is this one, is this bow I got from, um, which would be this bow is from Sew by Lexi. Okay, she makes these different color bows. There's also another company that makes the bows that I talked about in my last video. So go watch that one to check that company out. I will put Sub Alexis information down below and a discount code. I really like these bows because the alligator clips are huge in the back. Okay, they are huge. And like I said, my daughters do not like bows that wrap around their head. They like the alligator clips, just a clip to their ponytail. All right. It really matches the petals here on the outfit, so it brings out the outfit, all right? A lot of times I like to do mix and match type of things. I am very matchy-matchy, but sometimes I like to step outside of myself and mix and match because the shoes I put with this were pink, but the bow is green, all right? So, with our buffalo plaid look, y'all know how I feel about my buffalo plaid. Y'all know I'm going for the one and the only Craft by Mindy. I talked about this bow before and I probably need to get some smaller ones, picky ones, a uh, little smaller ones for the baby, but her hair is long enough to wear the big bow as well. Craft by Mindy is the only shop, small shop, that I wrap for. I will put their discount code below. All right, so you can get your Craft by Mindy bow, a KBM bow. She has free shipping and she normally gets your stuff to you within three to five days. Um, she also has rush, ship for the rush shipping for additional five dollars, which is really not that bad. Okay, so this bow, y'all can see what it is. It goes clearly, goes, goes, goes. All right. Y'all know how I love my crab by Mindy. And this is the bow that I would put with this outfit. Now this bow is from the one and only yours truly, Craft by Mindy. As y'all see, it matches 150%. It's very hard to match these colors. They actually are very similar in the fabric as well, the texture of the fabric. So it better should be the same fabric, even though it's from two different small shops, okay? Now, this color just pops. It really pops on, you know, darker melanated skin. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Outfits are all from small shops, okay? Small businesses trying, you know, to make a name for themselves and they're, you know, doing a really good job at building their brand and growing their business. And so that's one of the reasons why I want to shout them out. Um, and if you have a small business and you have, you know, a product, or you have clothing specifically either for my girls or for me, you know, our contact information is below. Hit us up. We love collabs. We love shouting um, small business out. You know, we also, any items that we wear, I put them on Instagram. I also put them on Facebook. So comment down below. If you rock with any of these small businesses, all right. Also, comment down below if you have, um, if you are a part of a brand and you have a discount code, because we love to shop and we love a discount. All right, y'all. This is Mom Chronicles, and y'all be sweet. <laughs>